please or thank you would be nice. Sheesh. Hi, I'm Delilah from Sunny Skin. I'm here for the spray tan. Spray tan? No, no, you have the wrong address. Are you sure? Is there not a Chloe Myers that lives here? Chloe called you. She never said anything about a spray tan. I'm sorry, just give me a sec. Hey, why'd you do that? What do you think you're doing? What does it look like? I'm dyeing my hair. No, you are not dyeing your hair. You are way, way too young to be coloring your own hair. The blonde is in right now. Even Dixie D'Amelio just went blonde. I don't care if Dixie Cup or whoever is blonde. You are not coloring your hair. And would you mind telling me why somebody named Delilah is at the door right now? Delilah's here? No, no, hold on. Wait, why are you trying to get a spray tan? You have never done anything like this before. Hello? Earth to my daughter. Who is texting you? What are you doing? Can you like not look at my phone? Gosh. If you have to know, I'm going on a date with Lil Pop tomorrow. Lil Pop? Mm -hmm. You mean the rapper with the gold teeth who flunked out of Bookside? No, absolutely not. No, no, no. You are not going out with him. You can't stop me. Yes, I can. I am your mother. And besides, even if you were allowed, which you are not, tomorrow's Mother's Day. We had the whole day planned. We were gonna do pancakes for breakfast, go to Darla's for lunch, and you were gonna make your fettuccine Alfredo. Well, not anymore. I'm going out with Lil Pup tomorrow. No move, I need to let Delilah in. Oh. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting, come on in. No, I won't allow it. I'm sorry, but you need to go. Mom, stop, you're embarrassing me. Listen to me, young lady. You are not dyeing your hair. You're not getting a spray tan, and you are certainly not going on a date with Lil Pop. Stop trying to control me. I'm 16 years old now, not a little girl. I don't have to listen to your dumb rules. Rules are not dumb. They are important. And as long as you live under my roof, you will listen to my rules and abide by them. Then I won't live under your roof anymore. How about that? Did you just say little pop? Isn't that guy in like juvie three times? Exactly. And Chloe wants to go on a date with him tomorrow. Can you believe it? Maybe she'll let her go. What? Have you lost your mind? Hear me out. Remember when our parents used to say to us when we were kids, the only way to learn to not get burned is to By touching the stove. Exactly. And the point they were trying to teach us is that everyone has to learn from their own mistakes. So what you're saying is you want our daughter to get burned? Not literally, figuratively. Linda, look, I know it's hard, okay? But you guys fight all the time. Every other week she wants to move out. The more that you're trying to control her, the more it's working against you. This time, let her see for herself. All right, I'm out. I'm going to stay with Stacy. Okay. That's it? You're not gonna warn me about how I'm ruining my life or try to stop me? Nope, I, I won't get in your way. This is gonna work. Trust me. <gasps> She's driving me crazy. I told her I was staying at your house if that's cool with you. Yeah, but um, tomorrow's Mother's Day. Don't you wanna spend it with your mom? No, I'm so done with her. Oh, by the way, I was gonna get a spray tan and dye my hair before my mom went berserk on me. Is it cool if I do the hair? Sure. <laughs> You're the best. This is gonna be the best weekend ever. I'm so excited! Okay.
Try to stay calm. School's not until tomorrow, right? And your date's not until tonight. So we can we can we can fix this. Let's start with your hair. Yeah, we could we could go to a salon. No, oh, I can't afford a salon. Maybe I don't should I add something else? Yeah, let's let's go to the bullseye. Okay, but I'm waiting in the car. Okay. I hope she's okay. I really thought she'd come home this morning. Yeah, I know, honey. But look, gotta stick with the plan, okay? Okay, I'll mix it. You just go shower and scrub off as much of the tan as you can. Okay. Just the best. <laughs> Hello? Hey, are you ready to order? Um, actually, could I just get the check for my lemonade? Thanks. Uh, hey, how did it... Can you please explain to me? How the heck this happened? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I mixed everything perfectly, just like it said in the instructions. I look like freaking Marge Simpson now. Nobody wants to date Marge Simpson. And look at my body. Only some of the spray tan came off. Now we just have orange spots everywhere. Okay, I, try not to panic. I mean, we still have time. We can fix this. Great. Now he wants to meet earlier. Oh. I'm doomed. Chloe? Oh. She still hasn't called. Maybe I should... No, don't call her. Look, she's gonna come around, I promise. Look, I brought some food. But Chloe's supposed to make me fettuccine Alfredo. Why, why are you dressed like that? Uh, it's a long story. But if you want to know... <laughs> I know, it's horrible, right? I mean, it's not good. <laughs> but luckily, no one here really knows me. Hi. Here are a couple of menus. No rush. I'll check on you. Actually, I am in a rush. <laughs> Take the steak. Rare. Like blood pouring out of it when I cut it. <laughs> you do it. Okay. And for you? Uh, let me see. She'll do the chicken. Oh, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> for real, like 
<laughs> you only eat plants and stuff. Okay, uh, well, in that case, she'll do that, uh, that one, so, named after that, that dude, what was his name? What was his name? The Caesar salad? Bingo. That's the one. <sighs> I didn't even get a chance to look at the menu. I know. Like I said, I gotta see my ma, so, kind of in a hurry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I have to go to Stacy's and check on Chloe. No, I, I'm just gonna tell her. I don't care if you want to dye your hair. I don't care if you want to get a spray tan. I don't even care if you want to date some creepy guy. I just want my baby back. That's all that matters. Linda. Here you go. Enjoy your dinner. Bring the check when you come back around, okay? Ooh. Extra bloody. Just how I like it. Gotta eat your food, Becca. Becca? My name's not Becca. Uh, I, I didn't say Becca, I said babe. If you don't like your salad, try a bite of this. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, yum. This fettuccine Alfredo looks amazing. <laughs> Thanks again for bringing me here. Of course, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Hey, babe. Sorry, I'm early. I didn't realize you'd be here so early. Who are you? Who are you? I am Becca. Lil Pop's date. And as far as I'm concerned, you're in my seat. I thought you were meeting your mom later. <laughs> this is why he moved our date? Do you have any idea what I went through for this date? I fought with my mom. I ruined my hair. Look, Charlie, I'm not trying to be mean, but have you looked in the mirror? Why would I want to be seen with your Oompa Loompa looking self? I mean, you should just scurry on back to Wonka's factory where you belong. <laughs> Maybe I do look like an Oompa Loompa. But at least I'm not some trashy wannabe rapper. Oh, and since I don't want the salad that you so graciously ordered for me, you can have it. <laughs> Mom, it's, it's Mother's Day. I've got the dishes. Oh, thank you, honey. Yeah. Oh, it's probably Chloe. I'll get it. Oh. Linda, hi, happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you, you too. Um, I was wondering, is Chloe here? No, I thought you knew. She's out with um, Little Pop, I think that's his name. Right, I was just hoping she'd be home by now. Yeah. I'm sorry if I interrupted anything. Oh, you're not interrupting anything and you're more than welcome to come inside. Oh, that's okay, thanks. You have a good evening. Okay, thank you, too. You're home. Sweetheart, what happened to... I know, I know, I look horrible. Turns out you were right about everything. I realize now that rules aren't dumb, they're important. And if I had just listened to you, this nightmare of a day wouldn't have happened. I'm sorry, Mom. I hope it isn't too late for us to celebrate. I made your favorite, fettuccine Alfredo. It is 
never too late for my daughter's famous pasta. Oh, This is turning out to be a much better Mother's Day than how it started. How about first thing in the morning, I take you to a salon and get all of this figured out. <laughs> but I have school tomorrow. I can't miss. I know you said rules are important. They are, but this is a very special case, so I will make an exception. <laughs> is it really that bad? <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, this looks good. Oh. I love you. I love you more. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rue. Happy birthday to you. I'm sorry, honey, but they couldn't make it. None of them? Well, Elijah couldn't get the time off of work. Caleb missed his flight. And Jasmine, she has boyfriend troubles again. She's back with that Anthony guy again? Yeah. I was so excited about seeing the kids. It's all I've been thinking about these past few months. I know, but that doesn't mean that you and I still can't celebrate, right? You know how it is. Kids these days, they're just too busy in their own lives. Too busy to see their own parents? I mean, I passed go. That's an extra $200 for me. Jasmine, it's your turn. Roll the dice. Boardwalk. Yes. Ooh. You owe me $50. You only have fight. Well then, you better ask Elijah and Caleb to see if they can loan you the rest of the money. Nope. No way. It's my money. Mom, they won't give me any money. Could you just take this, please? Hmm. Only under one condition. If I get to tickle you for one minute straight. What would you laugh for? It's the kids. Oh. Happy hey, birthday, Mom. Happy birthday. Hi, Mom. Oh, I miss you guys so much. I was hoping to see you today. Sorry, we really wanted to be there, but we couldn't. But, but, promise we'll make it to your retirement party, Mom. Yeah, we can't wait to see you, Mom. We love you. I love you guys, too. All right, boom. Love you, Mom. Bye. Bye. What? That's it? It was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> Ruth, where are you going? Aren't you going to have cake? I'm sorry. I just don't feel like celebrating, Samuel. <sighs> hey, Ruthie. Look what I have here. <laughs> Your final paycheck. You officially have all the time in the world after today. You can travel, vacation, you know, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Who to travel with? That's the question. Why don't you go with Samuel? He doesn't like to fly. When my kids were younger, mm, we travel everywhere together. Now, I can barely get 30 seconds on the phone with them. What about one of those retired mom's Facebook groups. I'm sure someone will want to go with you. <laughs> no. Well, we are all so excited to celebrate your, your retirement party next week. It's going to be so much fun. Hello? Yeah. What? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Yes. We'll be at the funeral next week. 
Yeah, thank you, thank you for telling me. I'm so sorry. My friend from college, Marisol, she passed away. Oh. I'm so sorry, Ruthie. I'm sorry. You know, when I was in my teens and 20s, I used to go to birthday parties all the time. In my 30s and 40s, it was weddings and kids' parties. Now, it's retirements and funerals. Hey, didn't you say your kids are coming to your retirement party? Well, if they show up. Otherwise, the next time they see me, it might be my funeral. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Today, we are here to say goodbye to my amazing mom. I can't help but to feel this overwhelming sense of regret. And if I could just, if I could just turn back time, I would. So, so I could hear her laugh and hold her hand and just, and just be there with her. And I tried, I tried, but I just, uh, I let life get in the way like we do. That I pushed too many phone calls. I missed too many birthdays. And I, I just let too many opportunities to spend time with my mom slip through my fingers. Now that she's gone, I finally realized just, just how precious life is and that we need to cherish every moment that we have with our loved ones because tomorrow might never come. I wish our kids could hear this. It's okay, honey. You'll see them tomorrow at the party. You know, uh, it is, it is true what they say. You never truly appreciate something until it's gone. Thank you for coming. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you so much. This is really so sweet. I'm sorry, honey, but they couldn't make it. It's okay. We're all here. Why don't you go ahead and take a seat, Ruth? You need some water? No, no, no. Somebody call an ambulance. It's her. Her vitals seem more stable, but we're still trying to figure out what happened. Is there any reason she would have stressed out? Sorry, doctor. Patient De La Cruz needs you. Oh. Okay. Hey, kids. Hey, hey, Bob. Hey, is, um, is, is mom, mom okay? okay? How's mom? She's still sleeping. The doctor still doesn't know what happened. He did manage to say she's stable now. Oh, man. All right, thank God. You had me worried there. Yeah, I mean, we were about to fly out. I was about to get my ticket and everything. Do you, uh, you think we still need to come, Pops? Yeah, certainly wouldn't hurt. You know how your mom is. She misses you guys. But the doctor said she'll be okay? I think so. Okay, I'll try to come for Christmas. Right now is just not the best time for me, honestly, Dad. Anthony and I are going through it. Yeah, my company is getting ready for FDA approval for this new medication we're releasing. So I'm going to be doing a lot of overtime. Yeah, Pops, honestly, uh, Christmas works better for me, too. But I'll, I'll call later to check on Mom, okay? See if she's okay. Bye, Pops. See you later. These kids. Excuse me. My sons were supposed to come see me. Are they here? I'm sorry, but you don't have any visitors. Gosh. What do I need to do? Die to get my kids to see me? Oh, You're still working? Yeah. 
Have you heard from your mom? No. Never heard anything since my dad said she was still at the hospital. That was a couple of days ago. Why don't you try calling her? I mean, just to make sure she's okay. Honey, can't you see I'm busy? I'll call later. I just can't believe you forgot our anniversary. It's almost like you don't even care about our relationship. Okay, first, listen, honey, it, uh, six months is not an anniversary, it's half a year. Let's be clear on that. Second of all, maybe you should communicate your expectations better instead of expecting me to read your mind. Or maybe you should be more romantic and not have me spell every single thing out for you. It, it's like you... I... <sighs> Dad, I can't believe she's gone. Yeah, yeah. I feel so horrible for not coming to see her. Hmm. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. Well, you guys can say your goodbyes now. You open it, Caleb. I, I, I can't. Elijah, you're gonna have to open it up. You're the oldest. We'll do it together. On the count of three. One. One. Two. two three. three. Wait. Where's? It's so nice. You all finally came to see me. Mom, you're. With that, your, your funeral. I just didn't know how to get you to come and see me. I didn't want to wait until. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I just. No, no, Mom. We're sorry. This whole time, I couldn't help but think. I, I can't believe I didn't go see you in the hospital. Or that, um, that I, that I missed your retirement party. Or, um, your birthday. We're all sorry. It's true what they say. You never really appreciate something until it's gone. I promise I'll do better. Yeah, yeah, me, me too, huh? Ma. Same. Yes, free parking. <laughs> this is all mine. <laughs> oh. All right, Mom, go ahead. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yes, I own that. Pay up $175. You are a lot better at this game than you used to be. I still always beat you. Yeah, I'd hope so. I was a little kid back then. I only have $140. Hmm. I'll take it, but only if you let me take it. Oh! <laughs> Are you excited to almost see a little girl after 10 years? If she'll even see me. Hey, Nia. Yeah? We got another letter 
from your mom. Do you want it? What do you think? Amani Anderson, you're free to go. So good to see you. <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> Should we go get you something to eat? Actually, I, I had something else in mind. Oh, where'd you want to go first? I was worried about that. Have you spoken to her? She won't speak to me either. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. Hi. You must be Fiona. I'm Nia's birth mom. Hey, Mani. What are you doing here? I just got out. Of jail? Yeah. Um, I was wondering if Nia's here. I was hoping to talk to her. She doesn't want to see you. No, 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 please. I just need to see my little girl. I need, I need to. I'm not here to cause issues. I just haven't spoken to her in a long time, so I'm just only asking for five minutes. Please, wait here. I don't know. Maybe I should try on your hair. <laughs> no. I know, I would do terrible. Ania, honey, you have a visitor. It's your mom. Tell her to leave. I don't want to see her. That's what I told her, but she wouldn't listen. I'll go tell her again. Are you okay? No. Yeah, I, I feel like you should talk to her. You're joking, right? After all that she's put me through, why would I want to see her, Carly? She could be dead for all I care. Yeah. I told you, she doesn't want to see you. Please, please, if I could just tell her. If I could just, please, no, no, wait. No, I just want to tell her. Just. Can anyone tell me what they think this book is about? How about you, Sam? Oh, uh, I think it's about hanging on to hope. Can you give me an example? Yeah, sure. It's like when uh, Daisy calls Leo, I mean Gatsby, right before he dies, making it seem like they're going to reunite. That doesn't happen in the book. That happens in the movie. Anybody have any ideas of what The Great Gatsby is about? What are your thoughts, Carly? Well, to me, I, I think the book is about the importance of forgiveness and letting go of the past. That's actually very... Carly's wrong. The book is about betrayal and abandonment. 
If Gatsby had learned to forgive Daisy and move on without carrying that weight with him, then he wouldn't have to worry. Why would he do that? Daisy's a terrible person. She doesn't deserve to be forgiven. I mean, what kind of person abandons someone and turns their life upside down? Okay, let's pick this back up next week. Everyone, have a great weekend. Mia. Nia. Nia, stop! What? Look, I get it. You're going through a lot right now. But I, I feel like, Nia, if you just talk to her and-, and I'm not doesn't... doing it, okay? She hasn't been in my life for 10 years. I don't care about her. Nia, if you didn't care, I don't think it'd bother you to talk about it so much, Nia. Clearly, it affects you. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Just do it. You gotta forgive her. And just forget about everything she did to me in the past. No thanks. No, Nia, I'm not saying that forgiveness can change the past. But what it can change is the future. I don't want her in my future. You don't, you don't know what she put me through, Carly. My mom is not a good person. You see? One of my earliest memories of her is getting pulled over. She got arrested for having drugs in the car. What kind of person would drive like that with a five-year-old in the back seat? After she went to jail, I was left all alone with my drug addict dad. And you know what he did? He overdosed. Imagine seeing all of that from just five years old. I bounced around from foster home to foster home. I spent half of my childhood wondering why I wasn't good enough for anyone to stick around. And you know whose fault that was, Carly? My mom's. Because if she wasn't selling drugs and if she wasn't a bad person, none of this would have happened. So you can't just stand here and tell me to forgive her like it didn't. You don't understand, Carly, because you didn't go through it, but I did. Nia, I'm, I'm so sorry. You don't have to talk to your mom at all. You can do whatever you want, okay? Nia. Listen, she really wants to talk to you, all right? Let's just give her five minutes, please. What is it with everyone trying to get me to talk to her? I don't want to see her, period. Nia, please, just give me a chance. No, and you completely ruined my childhood. I will never forgive you for what you did. Okay, did you read my last letter? I explained everything. I don't want your explanations, your excuses. I want nothing to do with you. Sweetie, please. I just... Stop trying to be a part of my life. It's never gonna happen. Mia, please. Mia, I'm coming with you. Dear Nia, after all these years, I've come to accept that you're not going to write me back. And as much as I didn't want to do this because I never wanted you to think poorly of your father, I think it's time you know the truth about everything. You see, I met your dad when I was young. He was older than me and not exactly the best guy. but I was too young and dumb to see it. 
As I started to hang out with him, I noticed he was always breaking the rules. I tried to stop him, but he had this way of convincing me like it was okay. As time went on, I started to realize things I never knew about him. Bad things. But by the time I found out, I felt like it was too late for me to leave because you were already born. Things didn't get much better as you got older. Most of the time we were alone, I had no idea where he was. But I tried to always be strong for you and promised you we'd get through everything together. Little did I know, soon everything would change. Your dad was driving us all home, and cops saw him swerving, and when they pulled us over, he convinced me to take the driver's seat because he had been drinking. Because I was the one in the driver's seat, I ended up having to take the ball for everything, and your dad acted completely innocent. I had no idea there were drugs in the car. But what hurt me the most was being taken away from you. My heart felt like it broke into a million pieces. So you see, Nia, you are and always have been the most important part of my life. I can't believe I missed out on the last 10 years of watching you grow into the person you are today. But I swear to you that I'll never stop trying to make it up to you. I'm getting out soon, and I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me because I'm still not sure how I'll ever forgive myself. I love you more than anything. I hope to see you soon. Love, kisses, hugs. Mom. So last week, we were having a very interesting discussion about The Great Gatsby, where Nia was saying how Daisy didn't need to be forgiven, and that... Um, actually, Mrs. Meads, I... I think I've changed my mind. I don't know what to do. I feel like... I've lost my little girl forever. She hates me. I don't hate you. I finally read all of your letters. And I forgive you, Mom. We may never be able to change the past, but there's no reason we can't change the future. Jenna just kicked me. I only kicked him because he threw food at me. Enough. Can we please have a nice family dinner without the two of you fighting like cats and dogs? We have something we want to tell you guys. Something serious. Are you finally shipping Max off to military school? Because I can be on board with that. Hey, guys, what did mom say? No more fighting or no summer camping trip. Before I say anything else, I want you both to know that we love you very much. And what I'm about to tell you, it wasn't an easy decision. 
We are getting a divorce. You guys are... what? We talked about how we were going to handle this. I know. I'm sorry. I just... You do this all the time. What your father was trying to say is that after thinking about this long and hard, we think it's better off for us and for everyone if we aren't married anymore. We have decided that we are going to separate. What? You can't. Is that because of us? No. I promise we'll stop fighting. We'll do anything. It has nothing to do with that, we promise. This is just what we feel is best. How is ripping our family apart what's best? No matter what happens, we will always be a family. We don't have to be together to be that. Families come in all shapes and sizes. Don't we get a say in any of this? Mom and I have thought this through and we have grown apart. We're gonna be better off as friends. But it's not fair. Our lives shouldn't have to be ruined because you guys can't work it out. Max. Max, wait. Honey, it's okay. Go away. I don't want to talk to either of you. It's just me. You okay? I can't believe they're doing this to us. I know. But now that I think about it, they have been fighting for the last few months. Plus, they stopped using those gross nicknames on each other. And Dad started sleeping in the guest room because of Mom's snoring. That last one is kind of legit. We share a wall. It's like sleeping next to a jet engine. I just don't get it. We fight all the time. It's not like we have the option of breaking up. We're a family. Isn't being stuck with each other the entire point? When Becky's parents got a divorce, she said they told her they fell out of love. Sounds like that's what's happening to mom and dad. Maybe they should try falling in love again instead of... Wait a sec. That's it. What? If we can make them fall in love again, then boom, the divorce goes away. You're forgetting one teeny tiny problem. You can't force two people to fall in love, you bonehead. Why not? It can't be that hard. People do it all the time. Yeah, maybe in The Sims. Love isn't science with a recipe you can follow. No, you're right. It's not a recipe. It's a strategy. We have to figure out what made them fall in love in the first place and remind them of that. We need to get inside their heads, speak their love languages. What the heck do you know about love languages? I heard about it on Darman's new podcast. Dad is an active service kind of guy. And mom is more into words of affirmation and gifts. If we exploit their weaknesses, we have a fighting chance. Our mission won't be easy. It'll require work, preparation, and the hardest part, the truce between us. But if we're victorious, our efforts will be rewarded in the end. What do you say, soldier? Are you with me? Let's get to work. Now get out. Write that down. That's good. Uh, 
delivery. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Somebody told you you'd never find yourself a love, and now you're bitter, so you cut off your head and some of your friends. You're losing another, another again. Oh, wouldn't you know? No progress. Dad's already got his boxes packed to move into that new apartment next weekend. And Mom's setting up lunch dates with some random dude named John Warwick. Don't worry about that. I blocked him. Even so, we gotta speed things up before it's too late. I know, I know, but every campaign has unexpected setbacks. It took Caesar eight years to conquer Gaul. We don't have eight years. We have eight days. What are we gonna do? We've been through those relationship self-help books over a million times. Well, we have two choices. We can surrender and accept the loss. Or we go oh, nuclear. And we use the family camping trip to do it. What do you have in mind? <sighs> You ready? Please. I was born ready. Hey, we're gonna run up to the bathrooms and uh, fill up the water bottles real quick. That's fine, just hurry back. As soon as I get this tent up, we're gonna start dinner. Be careful. They're fine, just let them be. There's bears. Oh, there are not bears here, Carl. We've been over this. This doesn't work, I'm gonna kill you. Trust me, this has to work.
There's the bugs. Wake up. Murphy. What are you? Jeff. Oh. There are worms. My Ew. There are worms in my tent. Where? Where Ew. are you? In my tent. Get up. Wake up. All right. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm getting up. I'm getting up. Ew. Just, okay. 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 I'm up. Go. Stop going. No. Get, go. I'm up. Ew. Quick. Go. Can you maybe use the light? Here. Here. Thank you. Zippers. What do you mean? I mean, the zipper is stuck. Let me try. Well, what are you gonna- no, Let me try. Is it stuck? Hey, kids. Jenna, Max. Hey, could you please open the tent from out front? It's the zipper stuck. No. Max, this is not funny. I want you to open this tent right now. Not until you and Dad work out whatever it is you need to and get back together. Yeah. Do you want our help? Then you're gonna have to sit and talk out whatever problems you're having. The way you make us do. This isn't funny! You open, open this, this tent, tent right, right now, now, Max! Jenna! Open this tent! We're not kidding around here, come on! We'll see you Max. two in the morning. Jenna. Have a good night. No! No, 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 Max! Come you, back here right you now, come Jenna! Back here and talk to this us! This is not funny! This is not right! This is not how We're you too smart right. for come our back own good. Right now. Hey. Wait, no, I don't no, think no, we no, thought of this plan all the way through. Sleep in the car? Definitely. How the heck did they do this? What, did they smuggle super glue in their bags? <laughs> they are our children. I wouldn't put anything past them at this point. Well, whatever they did, I don't think we're getting out of here tonight. They're taking this a lot harder than I thought they would. Yeah. I didn't think they'd be this upset. Should we have tried harder? For them? I don't know. I mean, we've been fighting so much lately. And I thought we were doing the right thing. And then this. I don't know. I mean, maybe we should wait. It's only a few more years before Max goes off to college. If Max gets into college. <laughs> <laughs> when should we tell them? Rise and, and shine, shine sleepyheads. Sleepy heads. Anything you have to say for yourselves? First of all, you're both grounded for this little stunt you pulled last night. With that, we don't appreciate the way you went about doing things. And since the divorce has obviously been so hard on you, we have decided to put things on hold. Wait. So did it work? You're not getting a divorce anymore. No. Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh, I think I still have worms on me! Oh, I need to find a shower! <laughs> I can't believe we pulled this off. We gotta be the first kids in history to make their parents change their mind. Take that, Caesar. <laughs> you know, when you're not annoying, you actually make a pretty good team. Agreed. But have you noticed that Dad's still sleeping in the guest bedroom ever since we got back? Yeah. They both kind of seemed bummed out. Maybe they just need time to adjust. How many times do I have to tell you, don't put the steak knives in the dishwasher? Well, you know, maybe if you would help me with the dishes once in a while or just stop nagging me, I wouldn't. That doesn't even make sense. I wouldn't nag you if you did what I actually asked you to do. I have a lot on my mind. I told you how stressful it is at work. God forbid I should make a mistake and maybe 
Gosh. When I said we should get them back together, this... You don't think I don't have stress? This wasn't what I had in mind. Almost every day. You don't think that adds to it? I cannot tell you the last time... Seriously, do you? I didn't want to pull my hair out. And the last time I had... Do you think we made a mistake? Was when you and I were talking about getting a divorce. Me too. But we promised that we would stay together for the kids, no matter how miserable it might make us. Stop fighting. Please. We're sorry, kids. We didn't... No, you were there. Yeah, your mom and I are having a little argument, so why don't you guys go play outside or something? So you can keep arguing? That's all you've been doing since you guys got back together. We're trying. We know how important it is to both you kids that we stay married. We don't want you guys to be miserable for us to be happy. What are you saying? I think we're saying that Maybe you guys were right? Yeah. Like you said, families come in all shapes and sizes. Sometimes they can stay the same, but sometimes it may need to change so everyone could be happy. Did our kids just say that we were right about something? Don't get used to it, okay? <laughs> yeah. And if you insist for ruin our lives, Dad, can you at least get an apartment that has a pool and a jacuzzi? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Yeah, and maybe take it easy on the dating mom. This Warwick guy? I don't trust him. You mean my attorney? Who, by the way, I haven't been able to get in touch with for like weeks. Oh, whoops. I can fix that. Huh. Do you know what I think this calls for? A family hug. Oh, Ew, cringe. cringe. Come on. Come on. Come on. See what you did, Jenna. <laughs> My fault. This is all your fault. My if fault. you had been this annoying, you had to Stop you. fighting. <laughs> Looks good. Come on. Are you kidding me? Ow! Mom, Jenna just kicked me. Uh, he started it. Sorry, kids. Technically, this trip falls on your dad's weekend. I'm off duty. Max, Jenna, knock it off. <laughs> Families come in all shapes and sizes. But some things never change. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Dinner is served. Eat up. <laughs> Don't mess with the best. Oh. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, really good. Perfect. You know, I think I like them way better when they're married and miserable. At least the food was edible. <laughs> But you're one of our top consultants. If this is about money. It's not about money. Just tell me what you need and it's yours. I can give you more vacation time, up to the company's 401k contribution. That's all very generous of you, but I've made my decision. And I can do whatever it takes to really help the company transition more smoothly. Well, I gotta say, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand and I wish you well. Can I ask, though, where you're going? Is it McKinsey or Deloitte? It's Deloitte, isn't it? I'm actually quitting consulting altogether. And I'm going to take some time off to really figure out what I want to do. But whatever it is, I know it's going to involve dance. That's actually my passion. Dance? <laughs> I know. It sounds crazy, leaving a job like this for something like that. But I really think I can make it work. You know, maybe even start a company that revolves around my passion. I don't think it sounds crazy at all. In fact, I was gonna say that I really respect that. It takes a lot of courage to walk away and chart your own path. Also, I think people who fully commit to their passion always do well. Really? 100%. I think what you're doing is really admirable. In fact. What are you doing? One sec. 
here is a little something to get you started. This is so kind of you, but $10,000, I don't even have an idea yet. I'm not investing in an idea, I'm investing in a person, someone who I believe in very much. I don't know what to say. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. You will always have a job here if you want it, but after having worked with you and seen what you're capable of, I doubt you'll need it. Go make us proud. Papa, I know you're still upset with me and you don't support my decision, but I just want you to know that I don't think I've ever seen you here in the middle of the week. You used to do weekends, right? Yeah, I just left my job though, so my schedule's pretty open. Oh, nice. So are you taking any other classes? No, but I want to. It's just so hard finding the right ones in the area. I mean, half of them don't have websites, and even if they do, they don't list the pricings or even the schedule on there. I think I had like, what, 30 tabs open, and I still couldn't find the right one. It's crazy. Yeah, that's so true. I was on my laptop looking for some the other day, and I literally ran into the exact same problem. Yeah, they should have something like open table for dance classes. Exactly. You know, if someone invented that, I'd use it. Anyways, I'll see you later. Everything okay? Yeah, amazing, actually. I think I figured out what I want to do. Finally. I told your mother that you would be back to your senses soon. But the good news is, Raju uncle knows someone who works at that company. Uh, what's the name of that company? McKenzie. McKinsey? That only. Okay, but no, I was talking about my business. I think I want to create something where people can find and try dance classes. But what's wrong with the way they find them now? You go to classes all the time. I know, but there's so much research that goes into that. There's so many different websites out there and so much information posted everywhere. So to fix that, I'm gonna make one site where everything is listed and people can just browse with no hassle. And tell me, how is that supposed to make money? Hmm? Well, I mean, I haven't figured out all the details yet. <laughs> but I can partner with different dance studios and instructors and have them list their classes on the site, just like Open Table. And whenever someone signs up, I can make a cut. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Hmm? But um, there is just one thing though. Of course, there's always a thing. I've already sketched out the business plan and to make it work, I need to go all in. What do you mean? I mean, a basic infrastructure is not enough. I need investors and contacts, and I need to be around tech people. And in order to do that, I've decided to move to the city. New York? First quitting your job, and now this? Do you see what you have done? Hmm? Now enjoy explaining this to the rest of the family, because I won't be the one to do it. Listen. I won't do it. At least wait and see what she has to say. Hmm. Why can't you commute from here? This is where you grew up. This is where our whole family is. I know, but if I want to be taken seriously, I need to be around the contacts and the capital. We might have late nights and early morning meetings and I need to be hustling 24-7. But New York is such a big move. What if you move and this fails? I know it's risky, 
but sometimes you have to do big things to make something of yourself. What if Sheryl Sandberg never leaned in? And what if Beyonce never left Destiny's Child and went solo? That type of success, beta, is so rare. For every one of those stories, there are thousands who never make it. Why don't you start small? And if it works, then you can move. It's all or nothing. I don't need anything from you guys. All I want is your blessing. You're putting me in a very bad situation with your father. I know. But you're the only one who can convince him. So please. You better call us every day. And if you ride the public transportation, do not talk to strangers. And you cannot walk alone at night. And wear your purse like this, because if that- I promise I'll do whatever you want. Ah, you're the best, thank you. I'm gonna start packing. With her parents' blessings, or at least one of theirs, Pyle moves into the city. Before long, she finds herself in a new apartment. She meets new dance instructors, and makes connections she needs to get her new company, ClassPass, off the ground. Everything falls into place and goes exactly according to her business plan. Within a few months, she's optimistic the company will be successful and she's more inspired than ever about the future. When she explains the idea of ClassPass, a website that allows you to sign up for different classes online, everyone she talks to seems excited to try it. But despite everyone's initial enthusiasm, she quickly learns that people are looking for classes, but not signing up for any. Without any class reservations, the business model doesn't work. It doesn't take long for people to lose interest in ClassPass, no matter how much Pyle sells them on it she starts to feel like a total failure. After spending all her time and money pursuing her passion, she begins to think that her parents may have been right. Okay, I, I see it, but I just don't understand what more I can do. Hey, Pa. Please don't tell me you're here with more bad news. I just can't take it. I just wanna say the investors are here. Oh, um, okay, can you please give us a minute? Yeah. Miss Katakia, thank you so much for making time to see us. Okay, of course, please. We just wanted to meet in person to go over some of the data. We received the analytics from your team, and after reviewing everything, we have some concerns. Right. Um, we've done everything by the book. We engaged the press to get more media traction. We ensured our website has a more user-friendly interface. We've been focused on growing our email list. But where we're having trouble is converting all of these into reservations. That's what we were afraid of. And um, based on the numbers today, we're not gonna be able to meet our projections. And... And? And... We're gonna need an additional investment if we want to stay in business. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be possible. At least not until the website traffic translates to booking. Based on the data, I don't think that's gonna happen. But I have employees to support and overhead, and if we wanna turn this around, we need that additional investment. Look, our hands are tied. Sometimes these things don't pan out the way we think they will, even with the perfect business plan and doing everything by the book. 
But you guys will lose your money if we fail. So isn't it better troubleshooting this now than cutting all your losses? That's the nature of the game. Take a lot of shots, most of them miss. But every now and then, you do get that one special unicorn. It makes all of the misses worth it. Don't be so hard on yourself. We see this all the time. You're smart, you'll land on your feet. You could always go back into consulting. We'll check back in with you in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, keep your head up. And maybe think about getting a backup plan. Papa? What are you doing here? You promised your mom that you would check in every day. You haven't answered any of our calls. We are worried about you. Wait, but is Mama here? No. She doesn't know that I'm here. What's going on, Veda? Hmm? Why are you avoiding us? You were right. My entire company is a failure. What are you talking about? Your mother said everything is going well. Yeah, it was in the beginning. But the model is just not sustainable and I've tried everything from email blast to even offering free classes, but nothing's working and I can't figure out why. What's the real problem, Veda? I can get people on the website, but no one's signing up for the classes. And we need to make reservations in order to make a profit. And I just don't get it because people were so excited. And then I spent months working on this and all my savings, all for what? Why? And I know I should have just listened to you guys, stayed at my job and went to grad school and settled down. So I know what you're here to say. So please just say it so we can get it over with. Say what? That you told me so? that this was a waste of time and money and that this whole thing was a mistake and I should have just stayed at home. That's not what I was going to say. Then what? You shouldn't give up. What? But I thought you didn't support this and that I was wasting my time and that you were disappointed. Yes, I was, but not with you. I was disappointed because this isn't the path I imagined for you. I just wanted you to have a good, stable job without ever having to worry. Then what changed? After seeing how far you have come and how happy you have been, I realized it was selfish of me that I ever want you to do something that you didn't love. It's not what I would have chosen, but it's your life. And I will support you whatever you want to do with it. Really? You really mean that? Of course. You're my daughter. <laughs> Thanks, Papa. But I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter now because I still failed. For your kind information, failure is a data point, not an end point. What? You think I bought you all those business school books and never read any of them? If you are really passionate about something, you just need to keep going. I want to. I really do. But 
I don't think I can find a solution before money runs out. If anyone can, it's you. This is your company. You know it better than anyone else. I know, but I've been through the data and the spreadsheets like a million times and I just, I can't figure out a way. Then go over them a million and one times. You should just keep trying. But what if it doesn't work out? Then you pick yourself back up like this and keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Because a wise girl once told me, if you follow your passion, you will eventually succeed. And that wise girl is standing right in front of me. Thanks. But I think I was just naive. That's not true. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't a good idea, you never would have made it this far. You never would have gotten those investors, partners, or customers. And I wouldn't be standing here. I'm a very, very busy man. <laughs> but what if I let everyone down again? Don't say that, Veda. Please. I believe in you. Everyone else believes in you. Now you just have to believe in yourself and keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Besides, your mother has already informed the entire family on a WhatsApp chat group that you are a big tech entrepreneur. Hmm. Now, we can't have you going back to consulting, can we? Can we? No. Okay then, let's order a takeout or something. If I have to be in the city, I might as well eat something that your mother wouldn't let me have at home. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> something really good. Okay. Pyle is once again excited to go after her dream. After thinking long and hard about ClassPass's analytics and what went wrong, Pyle comes up with a new solution. She introduces a subscription-based model with a flat fee, allowing customers the options of trying different types of classes every month. When she pitches a new concept to different instructors around town, they all seem to love it and are excited to try it out. The new business model turns out to be a major hit. Customers begin buying monthly subscriptions and class reservations start to skyrocket. ClassPass experiences unprecedented growth. As the years pass, Pyle and the investors couldn't be happier. Since launching her new model, ClassPass has partnered with over 30,000 studios in 28 different countries. Fortune Magazine included Pyle in their 40 under 40 list, and she has become one of the most successful female entrepreneurs of all time. Several years later, she even launched her own book to inspire others to follow their passions. Here you go, I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much. Well, it seems my investment panned out. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you were coming. Oh no, well, I wanted to surprise you. I saw an article about your book coming out and I just couldn't resist. Well, I don't think there would have been a book if it wasn't for my first investor. No, no, I'm sure it has all to do with your hard work and the support of your parents. You must be so proud. Yes, we are. She is a shining star in the whole Indian community. I get messages every day on WhatsApp from people all over the world about her. Thank you for always supporting our daughter. Of course. I don't know what my parents are more proud of, the fact that I sold my company or that I married a lawyer. Nick, meet my old boss from consulting who wrote me my first investment. Nice to meet you. If you ever have another idea for a company, please come to me first. <laughs> Will do, I appreciate that. Well, I don't want to hold the line up. It was lovely meeting you all. We'll chat. Bye. Hey there, cutie. This is Bria. She's your biggest fan. And she does Indian dance too. Is that so? 
Used to, not anymore. Why not? Some kids at school have been making fun of me and calling mm -hmm. me names. You know, when I was younger, I got made fun of for doing Indian dance, too. You did? Yeah, especially this one kid. Sorry, I had to take that. Hey, I'm Billy, Priya's dad. Nice to... Wait, why do you look so familiar? Billy from Fernbrook Elementary? Oh my gosh. You're that pile? It's... is this the same Billy? I just want to say that I am so sorry. It's all right. You don't need to apologize. In fact, I should be thanking you. Thanking me? But I was so mean to you. But it's because of you I stayed motivated to work hard and go after my dreams. For years, I have felt so bad about who I used to be. And now it seems like everything's coming full circle because kids are bullying my Priya at school. You know what? Don't let it get you down. Just keep doing what you love and don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Thanks, but it's more than just that. I auditioned for our team and didn't make it. I'm also not very good. Just keep trying. If there's one thing I know for sure, if you follow your passion, it will eventually lead to success. And if you need any proof of that, exhibit A. I didn't always believe that, but now I know it's true. Maybe I'll keep trying then. Thanks for the advice. Well, if you ever need any reassurance, just read my story and I hope it will inspire you. And I also have my email on my website. Maybe we can dance together sometime. Really? Why wait till sometime when we can dance right now? No, no. Yes, yes, they have it in stock, please. Mom, 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 can you please get this for me? Don't you already have an Xbox? No, 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 this is a PlayStation. It's completely different. I mean, come on, please. I, this will be my Christmas present. Mm. Let's see. $500? No way, Troy, that's too expensive. You know, I don't have a job right now. Come on. Dad would get this for me in a heartbeat. You know what? Just, just forget it. I'll, I'll just ask Dad to get for me. Don't be that way, Troy. How about Soculus? Didn't you say you wanted one? You did, right? Not as much as a PS5. I know, but it's $200 cheaper, and this is still a really nice Christmas gift. Huh? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Look, I'll be waiting outside. Try not to get too excited. Hello. Happy holidays. Happy. That's what you want to call it, sure. By chance, are you guys hiring? No, sorry. Yeah. That'll be $322.92. Okay. There aren't any coupons or anything, are there? Unfortunately not. All right, here you go. Oh, hold on, sorry. I'm sorry, it says insufficient funds. Do you have another card you can try or cash? Uh, let me see. Um. You could apply for a store credit card. No, that's all right. Um, I don't want to dig deeper in debt, you know. Uh, would it be okay if I use cash and then put the rest on my card? Sure. Um, how much would you like me to put on the card? Let me see. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, we're gonna put 265 on the card. Okay. And 24660 in cash. Okay. 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 
It went through. <sighs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's your change. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Would you like a bag? Sure. It's 25 cents. Uh, oh. that's all right. Don't worry about it. Thank you. You know what? I'll take care of it. Happy holidays. Are you excited about your game system? Yes. Shoot. Nah, we gotta go back. For what? It says it doesn't include a carrying case. <laughs> can you believe it? What do you need a carrying case for? You could just use the box. What? No, no, I can't bring this to my friend's house in the box. It looks so cheap. Come on, Troy. Now, I just spent a lot of money. Forget it. I'll just ask Dad. Your favorite line. All right, how much is the case? I don't know, like 20 bucks. All right, let's go. Wait, I don't wanna carry this around. Let me put this in the car. Next. You happy now? <laughs> hey, where's my car? This, this is where I parked, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, isn't that our car? Oh my gosh. <sighs> My Oculus is in there. Hey! That's my car! Stop! Hey! Stop! Stop! Please! Hey. Hi, um, do you work here? Yes, ma'am. Um, did you call the tow truck? No, ma'am. That's parking enforcement. I'm just a security guard. Why did they tow my car and instead of just giving me a ticket? I'm not sure, but usually when that happens, it's because you have unpaid registration. You didn't pay your registration? Seriously? Why? Things have been complicated. Complicated? Okay, so what are we gonna do now? I don't know. Okay, just give me a second. Do you know where they are taking my car? Yeah, it's 1020 High Street. It's about four miles up the road. Four miles? Do you um, think you could give us a ride? I'm sorry, I can't. I could, I could, I could lose my job. Good luck. Okay, look. How about I just call No, him no, do not call him. I just call grandma. Just give me a minute. Hey, sweetheart, I'm at work. Are you okay? Yeah, um, I'm here with Troy at the plaza and my car got towed. <laughs> You think you could pick us up? No, sweetheart, no. I'm in a meeting with my boss. We're going over a real estate deal. We're about to close. Can you call an Uber? Um, I don't have any money. And honestly, I won't be able to get my car back. I'm just trying to get Troy his Christmas present that was in there. Oops. Okay, I'll call you an Uber. Uh, you're in the plaza parking lot? No, no, you don't have to do that. You've already done so much for us lately, so. We can just walk. And um, it's not that far, so. Okay, good luck.
next month. I'll see you at home. I love you. All right. Sorry about that. It's all right. Is everything okay? My daughter's just going through some hard times. It'll be okay. Oh, no. Well, if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what were you doing? Look, I called Dad to pick us up. He's already on the way. Why would you do that? Hmm? I told you not to call him. Look, I don't see what the big deal is. Plus, I mean, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna walk. That's what we're gonna do. Now text him and tell him not to come. No. No, 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 wait. No, I'm not walking that far. Hey, I'm being serious. <sighs> why is it so far and why do we have to walk? You want your Oculus back again, right? We don't have any other choice, okay? I still don't get why you won't just let Dad help us. Please, stop asking me that. No. Up until a month ago, everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, we moved in with Grandma, and you and Dad stopped talking, and, and you guys stopped working together. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Troy, please. It's better for you if you don't know, OK? Now, we're not far from Here's it. Dad. I told you to text him not to come. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, Tiffany. I thought my dad was picking me up. Yeah, he got tied up in a meeting, so I offered to come. Ah, uh -huh. thanks. Uh, would you mind taking my mom and I to the tow lot? Yeah, that's fine. Hop in. <sighs> okay, one sec. Uh, hey, mom. It's not dad, it's just his secretary, so it's fine. Come on, let's go. I am not getting in that car. Come on, I don't see what the big deal is, okay? It's just... No! I am not getting in that car! Well, I'm not walking. So if you don't want to go, then I'll just go to Dad's office and have him drop me off at Grandma's later. You coming? Fine. See you later. Hello? Well, if you didn't want to pay $300, then maybe you shouldn't have parked in the rent. I can't believe these people. Mm-hmm. Can I help you? Uh, hi. Um, my car got towed earlier. It's a gray Nissan Sentra. Oh, yeah, yeah. You called earlier, right? No. Um, listen, I'm not actually here to even get my car. I want to know, would it be all right if I could leave it here just for a while, you know, until I can get together the $300 to pay for the tow? That's just the minimum. It's $50 a day after that. What? Seriously? Yeah, you can't just park here for free. <laughs> I never wanted to park here. And I didn't want to come to work today, but yet, here we are. <laughs> um, how do I get to my car? I, I need to get something out of it. You can't access your vehicle until you pay. What? Oh, come on. Come on, my son's Christmas present is in there, please. Look, it's company policy. There's nothing I can do. But if you didn't want your car towed, you shouldn't have left it in the red. Oh, she didn't park in the red. An expired meter. Oh, then why'd you tow her? 
Unpaid registration. Ah. Are you the one who towed my car? Yep. If you saw me, then why didn't you stop? You know, I try to avoid altercations with customers. They tend to get a little hysterical. This is your car? You did call earlier. No, it wasn't me. Well, somebody did, whatever. Anyway, your fee's already been paid in full over the phone. Oh my gosh. Really? I guess you have a garden angel. <laughs> Will you take it to her car? Uh, follow me. Hello? You thief stole my car! Can whoa, you whoa, whoa, whoa. You better drop that attitude and try again. I can't believe these people. Right. There's your car. Have a nice day. Thanks. <sighs> hey, wait! Someone broke into my car! And they stole my son's Christmas gift! Yeah. Whew. Oh, you know, this isn't the safest place for parking. I never parked here. You took it here. Well, you should have paid your parking meter. There's nothing I could do. We're not responsible. Company policy. Company. Well, you guys, company policy sucks. Yeah, I know. All this is happening to me. You didn't have to pay for me, you know. I would have figured something out. I know, but you're already going through so much. And I just wanted to help. Well, thanks. And I appreciate it. And I promise that as soon as I get a job, I'm gonna pay you back all the money you spent on us, okay? Sweetheart, that should be the last of your worries. Where's Troy? I just got home, I haven't seen him yet. Okay. Why don't we just have some tea? Whoa! Wait, what are you doing with that? I am going to buy Troy another Christmas present. Uh, wait, no, no, no. That's your savings so you can get your real estate license. I know, I know, that was the plan, but now I need to buy no, Troy no, no. a Christmas no, present. No, do not break into that. How much do you need? No, Mom, absolutely no. not. I am not letting you spend any more money on us. No, it's not that big. Why did you break into that? That was all the savings you had. If you were in my situation, would you not do the same thing for me? Yes. Now, if you want to help me, you can help me count this money. <laughs> oh. Come here. Come here. 
Okay. All this messy money. It's <laughs> a lot of it, though. Is that a PS5? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the world. Dad took me to get it before he dropped me off. Look, I told you you'd buy it for me. And what about your Oculus? Oh. Look, I don't care about that. You can just, I don't know, leave it on the floor. What are you crying about now? Mom. Do you have any idea what I went through to get you a present? I pretty much spent my last dollar. Okay. Well, I told you what I really liked from the beginning. So it's not my fault that you couldn't afford to give me what I really wanted for Christmas. You know, Dad told me why you guys split up. Oh, yeah. And what did he say? Basically, that it was all your fault. That you broke up this family. Is that true? If that's what you want to believe, Troy, then that's fine. I want to go live with Dad. Be here anymore. You can make your own decisions, Troy. I'm not gonna stop you. You know you can't always believe everything your dad says. What am I supposed to do? My mom won't tell me anything. That's because she cares more about your feelings than her own. What, what are you talking about? The reason she isn't saying anything it's because she doesn't want you to think any less of your father. You see, your mom has always done her best to take care of everyone around her. On top of trying to be the best mother and the best wife, she also sacrificed her own career to help build your dad's business. Even though it's because of her, the whole office ran. He never really appreciated your mom and would keep everything to himself. She was just too nice to complain. Then a few weeks ago, on your dad's birthday, he didn't come home because he was working late at the office. So she decided to surprise him. Little did she know that she would be getting the surprise. 
when she walked into your dad's office, there he was, cheating on her with the secretary. She couldn't believe it. And to make things even worse, your dad didn't even feel bad at all. He told her if she left, he would take away her car, cut off all her spending, and that she would be left with nothing. As hard as it was, your mom stood her ground and decided to walk away anyway. So you see, that's the real reason why your parents separated. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I, I mean, I, I can't believe he did that to her. Man, why wouldn't she just tell me? Because as badly as he hurt her, she didn't want you to hate your dad. That's how big her heart is. This whole time, I thought it was all her fault. Gosh, I can't believe I got in the car with Tiffany. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't blame yourself. You didn't know. But now that you do know... Mom. told me everything. I'm so sorry about everything. <laughs> I've never gotten in that car earlier if I had no mom. Oh, I know, baby. I know you would. I know. Ooh, this is the office. I gotta take this. Hey, look. Look, I can return the PS5 and then you can use that money. Hey, no, man. no, you don't have to return it. And even if you decide to, all that money is yours. Because I don't want anything to do with your dad's money. Okay, then what are you gonna do? I mean, Grandma, she told me that dad took, like, everything. I, I, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm gonna figure out a way to can you repeat what you just said one more time? You're on speakerphone. Your daughter seems like an extremely capable young woman. We'd love to give her the office manager position if she's interested. <laughs> Hold on a second. It's my boss. They want to offer you a position. You start right away, it pays well. And they're even going to cover the costs of your real estate license. Oh, <gasps> really? <laughs> What, how did she even know I was looking? I might have been in and out of the air telling them how capable you were. Whoa. Oh, wow. Mom. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate it. Well, you're going to take the position? Oh. <laughs> yes, she's going to accept the position. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, so are we. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Happy holidays. Happy, Happy holidays! holidays. <laughs> <laughs> now I want you to know that my first check is going to you to start paying you back for everything. Nonsense. You don't owe me anything. Mama, please. Mmm. No. Hey, Troy. What? <laughs> Are you making Christmas cookies? <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think? Huh? They look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Better than the ones I make. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. And I have one more surprise. Here. What is it? <laughs> You'll see. Open it. <laughs> All right. I'll get that. Okay. I'll go get Troy. No, wait. 
I'm not here to see him. Okay, then why are you here? I'm here to see you. Look, I know things ended really badly between us. But I want to try to make them better. I don't understand. What happened to Tiffany? I caught her charging up the company credit card and even taking money from one of the accounts. It was a big mess. Oh, wow. To be honest, uh, everything kind of went downhill after you left. I guess I didn't realize how much you did for the company, how much you did for me, until you are gone. So do you think maybe uh, I can try to get you to come back? So that we can all be a family again. You're welcome to see Troy whenever you want. But as far as you and I, there's no way that could ever happen again. Hey. Hey. Hey, Troy. Um, Want to spend Christmas with your pop? Uh, spend it with mom and grandma. But I want to give you this back. I thought this is what you wanted. It was, but not anymore. Appreciate it, though. All right. Well, I get to see you on New Year's. Uh, maybe. All right, um, you take care, son. Hmm. Did you really just give your PlayStation back? Yeah, I need it. I have an Xbox. No, come on. I want you to open it. All right, all right. What have you got in here? Is this? Yeah, I paid your registration and that ticket you got. Merry Christmas. No. No, <laughs> but how did you? I returned my Oculus. No, look, Mom, I promise it's fine. I don't need it. I realize that Christmas isn't all about gifts. Oh, sweetheart. I love you so much. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. So how'd the meeting go? What was that, honey? Did the meeting go well? Sarah. Sarah. Why are you yelling? I'm literally right here. You know the rules. No phones at the table. What's the big deal? It's 2021. Everyone uses their phone while they eat. Not in this household, they don't. You're so annoying. Excuse me? Come on, just put it down for 10 minutes, sweetheart. This is family time. Yeah, family time with a family that I don't want to be a part of. Where are you going? If I can't use my phone at the table, then I won't eat. Simple as that. <sighs> okay. I don't, I don't know. Mom? Uh, give me a second. I thought you weren't talking to me. I'm not. Uh, but I need $40. For what? Okay, for something. I, I just need it. But didn't you get your allowance on Monday? Did you already spend it? Well, I've only got 20 bucks left, but that's it. I mean, you do realize my $100 allowance isn't a lot of money, right? I mean, all my friends get way more than that. And there are a lot of people who don't get anything, okay? So I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to wait. But mom, I- Sarah, I am not gonna change my mind. <sighs> Whatever. Honey, my sister's on the phone. She wants to say hello. Oh, how nice. Ah, uh, hello? <laughs> yeah, hi, Cindy. It's five o'clock. 
Want to watch the new Darman video? Mm, I'll watch it later. Well, we won't be taking the test today. Because the three of us have a basketball game. What do you mean? The game's tomorrow. Not according to the photos, huh? Hey, Dad. Yes, honey. Can I have $40? Uh, did you ask your mom? Uh, no, yeah, yeah, uh, she was about to give it to me before you came down. Oh, okay, then yeah. Here you go. Thanks, Dad, you're the best. Yeah. Why did you just give that to her? What do you mean? She said you were about to give it to her. I, I cannot believe you just lied. Give that money back to your father right now. I wouldn't have to if you guys weren't so mean to me. We're not trying to be mean to you, but the word- I don't want another dumb lecture, okay? Go into my room. Oh, come on, Sarah. Sarah! See you guys later. Hang out. Hey, hey, hey. I, I, I... Where do you think you're going? To hang out with Ashley and Morgan? On a Thursday night. I don't think so. You know you're not allowed to go out on weekdays. I don't have school tomorrow, so technically it's more like a weekend. Sorry, you're not going anywhere, honey. You can see your friends tomorrow night. What? No, my friends are already waiting for me. I have to go. Were you going to say something, Jeff? I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you know the rules. Oh, I'm so sick of all your guys' rules. Well, as long as you live under this roof, you're gonna have to follow him. Well, maybe I won't live in this house anymore. How about that? Sarah! I'm serious. One day you guys are gonna wake up, and I'm gonna be gone. Just watch. $17 for this top was such a good deal. You should have bought the jeans too. I tried to ask my parents for my money and they wouldn't give it to me. They're so strict. They wouldn't even let me come here. That's why I had to run away. I thought about running away before too, but I can never do it. Same. I never made it past the driveway. My mom's here, I gotta go. Still wanna ride? Yeah. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I was thinking maybe I could spend the night at your house. Uh, that'd be totally cool, except my uncle's visiting and he's using the guest room. Oh, okay. Uh, what about your house? You know the first thing my mom's gonna do is call your mom. Ugh. You're right. Okay, well, I guess I'll just figure something else out. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Well, in case you want to go back home, at least you only live a few blocks away. That's not even an option. I'm never going back there. All right. Well, call us if you need anything. Good luck. Bye.
Hey, little girl. Are you lost or something? You want to come with us? Uh, no, I'm OK. Uh, do you guys know any cheap places to stay around here? There's a motel up the street. It's like 29 bucks a night. Come on. We'll take you there. That's all right. Thanks. Advice, never pull out cash around here. Please leave me alone. Don't worry, I'm not here to hurt you. Hey, look at me. Oh my gosh, you're my age. So, what are you doing out here? It's my parents. They were driving me crazy, so I had to leave. I can understand that. How long you been out here? For about two weeks. Wow. I've been here two hours and I'm already struggling. What made you want to leave? I guess you could say for the same reason you left. You see, my parents were always being so mean and had all these rules. They never let me do anything made me feel like I was a prisoner. So that's when I decided to run away. I wrote them a note, grabbed my backpack, and took off in the middle of the night. At first, I was happy about my decision, but it didn't take long for things to start going wrong. Over time, everything got harder and harder. I ran out of money, had to sleep on the street, and I'm constantly surrounded by all these dangerous people. So you see, now I really regret my decision. Not a moment goes by where I don't think about going home. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. But if you don't want to be here, why don't you just go back home? I think about it all the time. Part of it is, I live far away. Don't even have the $18 it cost me to go back home. The other part is, I don't even know if my family wants me anymore. Hey, hey, don't cry. All I can say is, don't make the same mistake I did. I regret my decision so much. a good mood this morning. Yeah. <laughs> I just love you so much. Oh, honey. Oh, I love you too. Okay, go take a seat. I can't believe I fell asleep on the couch last night. Oh, you look so comfortable. I didn't want to wake mm. you. I'm surprised you're not on your cell phone. If you want to use it, it's okay. To be honest, I feel bad about yesterday. No, it's all right. I would rather just talk to you guys. Is this the same Sarah from yesterday? What changed? Let's just say 
I realized a few things. Well, on that note, I talked to your dad last night and I realized something too. I shouldn't have questioned you. It seemed like you really needed it. So here's the $40. Really? Mm-hmm. Actually, that's okay. Mom, I don't need it anymore. Well, well I've never seen you turn down money. <laughs> okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Well, let's eat. Oh, yeah. those waffles. <laughs> hey. What are you doing here? I came to give you this. What? But I thought you lost all your money. Yeah, but um, I returned something that I bought. I appreciate it, but I can't take your money. Oh, please, I insist so that you can go back home. Take it. Thanks. But I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous. What if my parents don't want me back? Are you kidding? Come on, they're your parents, of course they do. There's not a second that goes by where they're not missing you, I'm sure. You really think so? Maybe you're right. Thank you so much, I'll never forget this. You're welcome. Good luck. Sasha. Honey, come quick. Sasha's here. I missed you so much, Dad. <laughs> wow, my baby girl. Look who's here. Look. Oh, my God. 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 Let me go get you. Let me get you. Oh, my God. Maybe our prayers have been answered. Yeah, please, don't leave us again like that, OK? Don't worry. Yeah. I never will. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my baby. Oh. <laughs>